Welcome to this ClickShare Conference how-to video. In this video, I will show you how to set up your ClickShare CX30 for the first time. We'll cover the following topics. Plugging in and switching on. Setting up your ClickShare base unit. Pairing and testing the conferencing buttons. So let's plug in and get started. Let's see what's in the box. Well, you should find a ClickShare Conference CX30 base unit two ClickShare conferencing buttons, a power cable with regional adapters, a wall mounting plate, and a safety and quick start guide. Let's plug everything in and get started. First, connect the base unit to the meeting room display with an HDMI cable. Connect the base unit to your network. Connect your base unit to cameras, speakerphones, or other devices using the USB ports. Connect the base unit to the power supply. The base unit will be updated if new firmware is available. When the LED on the base unit has stopped flashing, you should see registration information on the meeting room display and a token ID. Now let us use this token and the XMS Cloud Management Platform to configure the base unit and register for five years service coverage. To do this, open a web browser and go to xms.cloud.barcode.com slash add and you will be presented with the mybarcode.com login screen. Enter your login details or register as a user and you will be transferred to the XMS Cloud Management Platform. Select the tenant you would like the base unit to be associated with or create a new tenant. A tenant is usually the name of the company or organization who will use the base unit. Enter the token ID shown earlier. Then enter the meeting room name for your base unit. When you set up ClickShare for the first time, you need to pair the button with the base unit. Pairing is an important security feature that makes sure that a ClickShare button only works with the base unit it has been paired with. Pairing also updates the button if new firmware is available. Once a button has been paired with a base unit, it will be updated automatically when the button is used. To pair a ClickShare button, plug it into the ClickShare base unit. You can follow the progress of pairing on the meeting room display. Wait until the LED ring on the button changes color to green and the LED on the base unit has stopped flashing. Then remove your button. If your button has not been used before, we recommend that you test it. Plug the button into your laptop. If the ClickShare app is installed on your laptop, it will run automatically and you can test the button. You can download the app from www.clickshare.app or open Explorer or Finder and click on the app that is stored on the button. When the LED ring on the button changes to static white, it is ready to share. Click the button. The ring changes to static red and your screen is shared on the meeting room display. Press the button again to stop sharing. Your button is now ready to be used for conferencing or to share content. If you cannot access the XMS Cloud Management Platform, use the ClickShare Configurator to update the settings of your ClickShare base unit. First, connect to the ClickShare Wi-Fi network. Don't forget to enter the password. The default is ClickShare. Then enter the IP address, 192.168.2.1, into a browser. This will connect you to the ClickShare base unit. Next, log in using the username and password. The default are both admin. So to recap, there are three steps to take when you set up a ClickShare conference base unit for the first time. Plug in and switch on. Set up the base unit using the XMS Cloud Platform, pair, then test the buttons. The ClickShare CX30 has a mounting plate 
which you can use to fix the base unit to a wall. To do this, either peel off the back of the adhesive sticker on the mounting plate and push the plate onto the wall, or drill holes in these positions and screw the mounting plate onto the wall. Now move the base unit a quarter turn anti-clockwise and push it onto the mounting plate. Move the base unit a quarter turn clockwise and the base unit should be held securely in position. For more information about how to use ClickShare, you can find other videos in our how-to series on YouTube. ClickShare installation manuals and user guides are also available on barco.com. Thank you for watching how to set up your ClickShare CX30 for the first time.